Hi, Rosa Parks leaders. Today is read aloud day, and I am so excited to read you a wonderful book called It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Parr. And actually, I love this book. It's one of the books I've had in my house for a long time, and my children love it too. And you might notice some of the pages have been ripped over time and stuff, but it's because we read it so much. And we love it so much because it has such an important message. It's okay to be different. It's okay to make different decisions than other people, to look different. And we're going to see a lot of that in this book. And it's a great way to think about being different and how that's okay. With everything going on in our world right now, what a better time than to think about it than now. So I hope you enjoy the read aloud of It's Okay to Be Different. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. And right away you can see that the author does awesome things like, are we blue? We're not really blue, but it's okay to be different. So he makes all the characters different colors. It's okay to need some help. Right, that's a guide dog, because she can't see. It's okay to have a different nose, like the elephant. It's okay to be a different color. It's okay to have no hair. It's okay to have big ears. It's okay to have wheels. Right? Not everyone gets around with their legs. Some people use wheelchairs. It's okay to be small, medium, large, and extra large, right? We all come in different shapes and sizes, and that's okay. It's what it's what's inside that counts. It's okay to wear glasses. It's okay to talk about your feelings. And I think in this picture, the author is showing us that the lion is angry, rawr, but also sometimes he can just say, purr. No matter how you're feeling, happy or sad, or angry, it's good to talk about your feelings. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Well, I don't know about that, but I guess it's okay. It's okay to say no to bad things. Look at these fish. They know if they touch that hook, they're going to get hooked and, and taken up and eaten. So it's okay to say no if you know that something bad might happen. It's okay to come from a different place. Now, maybe we're not all from outer space, but at our school, we have students who are from Costa Rica, Domin Dominican Republic, Florida, from all over the world. So it's okay to be from a different place. It's okay to be embarrassed. Did that ever happen to you? That has happened to me where I have walked out of a bathroom with toilet paper stuck to the bottom of my shoe. But it was okay, I was embarrassed for a minute. It's okay to come in last. It's okay to dance by yourself. Mrs. Noski does that one a lot. It's okay to have a pet worm. Maybe it wouldn't be your personal preference, but it's okay. It's okay to be proud of yourself. That's right, you should be proud of yourself for all the different things you've accomplished. It's okay to have different moms. It's okay to have different dads, right? We all come from very different looking families. Some of us live with a mom and dad. Some lived with just a mom or just a dad or two moms or two dads. Some of us live with our grandparents or our aunts or uncles. But it doesn't matter who we live with, whoever we live with, we love them and they're our family. So it doesn't matter. And it's okay to be adopted. Some people live with a new family and that's awesome too. It's okay to have an invisible friend. I had one growing up. And it's okay to do something nice for someone. Instead of the cat chasing the mouse, He's giving him the cheese. Sometimes we do things that are unexpected and that are nice, and it's always nice to do something nice. It's okay to lose your mittens. It happens. 
it's okay to get mad. What happens when the skunk get mad? He sprays his stuff and it is okay to get mad. And even if this represents yelling, it's okay to yell sometimes, as long as we can calm ourselves down and know that that's not how we should always act. But it's okay if it happens. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. I know a lot of people who like to eat ice cream as something nice for themselves. It's delicious. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. We all have different kinds of friends. Our friends don't look the same and that's okay. It's okay to make a wish. This dog is wishing for a bone like my dog does. And some wishes come true and some don't, but that's okay. She always make a wish. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Love, Todd. Remember, Todd's the author, but in this book, he's representing himself with a dog. What a special message. It's okay to be different. And that's actually the beauty of our school and our world is that no two people are the same. We don't look alike, we don't talk alike. And that's what makes it so interesting. It would be super boring if we all look and talked alike, but instead we're different and unique and we need to embrace those differences and love each other just because of them. And I know at PS254, that's just what we do. And I am sending all my love to my different and beautiful boys and girls, my friends and my staff members. I hope everyone enjoyed this read aloud and remember, it's okay to be different. Have a great day, everybody.